Hi guys, Katie Jarman here. Um, I'm doing a really quick tutorial um, on one of my shapes in the Silhouette Design Store. It's actually in the Ready, Set, Make um, projects. Pretty cool. It's a, um, let's see, a, a shape photo box. So essentially you have a box with a shape cut out of the top and a photo in the back. So it kind of this, has this really cool like shadow box effect. Um, this tutorial today is going to be um, how to get your photo cut out of that square. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First thing you want to do, obviously open up the design in Silhouette Studio. I'm going to um, use the dine and design for this um, for this tutorial, but it works with the circle, the however, whichever one you want to use. Um, so open it up, select the design, um, and then come down here in the left hand corner and click on ungroup. Um, and I'm going to drag these two pieces off of our um, workspace here. We want to um, and you want just this cut, the square um, crop line here. Um, the next thing you want to do, um, find the photo that you want to use in this um, in this box. Um, find it on your computer and drag it into Silhouette Studio. So I have mine right on the desktop here. I'm going to click and drag and bring that in. And it's pretty large here, so I'm just going to resize it pretty quickly. I'm holding down Shift and Option on my keyboard and I'm gonna click and drag on one of these corners to kind of constrain the the dimensions there and um, click and make that a little bit smaller now a little bit bigger and as you can see here um, it's on top of our cut lines here um, the next step in, the, in this process is clicking on our image and coming down here and um, clicking on send to back and so now this is underneath our, um, our crop lines um, so now I want to kind of position these crop lines um, over our image kind of to your taste, however you want the image to be cropped um, and kind of seen through that shape that's cut out of the box. So I like it right here. Um, so we've got our crop lines, we've got our photograph. Um, now I'm going to click and drag to select both the crop lines and the photograph. Um, and I'm going to come up here to the modify window um, and with with both the crop lines and the photo selected I'm going to click on crop and it, what this does it automatically um, crops the photo underneath to whatever whatever um, cut lines were on top so we've got the square here and now you can see this perfectly fits in the in the back of our box here um, so now um, in order to print and cut this out um, I'm going to change the size of our page here to my printer um, and I'm going to add in some registration marks um, and now all that you would do is file print, print this page out on whatever material you're using. Um, I use just a medium weight cardstock um, and then we come over here and click on the cut settings and we click on the image to select it and click on cut. Um, and the print and cut feature does a really, really good job at cutting close to the image so there's no white space on the outside. And with this particular design, it doesn't really matter if there's white space um, on the image or if, it, or if it cuts it a little bit off. Um, I do have another video that you can watch if you do want to add a bleed so um, it, it cuts perfectly. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description and also in the blog post so in case you want to see that one. But for this design, um, this works great. Just doing a really simple crop um, and a really simple cut line. So yeah, so this is ready to cut. Um, obviously put your paper on your mat, feed it in the machine, and um, it'll automatically detect your, um, your um, printing cut marks. And you click on send a silhouette and it will cut it out. And once you assemble the box, um, obviously you'll assemble the bottom piece you'll assemble the top piece, you will adhere um, this photo into the bottom piece right here um, and then put on the top of the box and it will kind of do this really cool effect, um, kind of like a shadow box um, and so you can kind of see the image, it's farther back than the cut lines which I think is really cool. So um, let me know if you have any questions on this, it's pretty straightforward um, but I I tend to zoom through things pretty quickly. Um, I hope you enjoy the design. Thanks for watching.